Alright guys, welcome back to some demon cells. I'm in the Stonefang mine here. Just sort of exploring around. Oh god, these, these guys shook and fire at me like um, the big sort of chubby guys, but. It does a lot of damage. You can see this ghost there, that lever, so I'm gonna hit that like. Sure enough, it opens the door so I can move forward. I remember this this area from the from the original game, but um, so I still remember some of the tricks tricks of it. But it's amazing to see, you know, what Blue Point Games have done with it, like with the area, especially in the starting zone, like the sky, the sky box, the sky, and like the coloring, the lighting, and it's generally again the atmosphere, the atmosphere of of, of these Souls games are just uh, great. I find I've loads of these sort of guys that are sort of mine, like. You can take them out, um, but they don't offer a lot of uh, a lot of salts. So as you can see there, I just got three from that guy. But uh, there's dogs as well. The dogs are tricky. You just have to sort of block them. And uh, you've seen, you, as you can see, I've taken out a few guys. There's, there's guys in corners, especially they're tough because they have pickaxes and um, they do a lot of damage. So, um, parrying is good here. Uh, you may may see me trying trying to parry, but uh, parry or rolling is your best best friend. It's pretty good class. Yeah. I remember class was the first one, but it's been a while since I played the original game, so I think it's a fantastic opportunity to re to re experience the game through this remake. I'm gonna go back for that item. Um, yeah, I think it's, you run along as the bridge collapses. You can still stay to the to the um, the left. There's like a small plank to the left, so you can run along and take them out. Um, I'm generally a fiend for trying to get all the items. Um, if I see an item, I'm, I definitely try try to get it. These fire lizards you're going to see uh, quite often in this in this area, but they don't. They're not too bad. You can take them out handy enough, but they do they do a lot of damage, obviously, through to the fire. But uh, it's just an interesting. Interesting, we have these uh, sort of monsters here. You know, they remind me of the sort of crystal lizards. But the crystal lizards, you, you know, you want them. They sort of they scur scurry off, but um. There's a few good items in this uh, area as well. Um, there's a shield and there's a, um, a weapon, I believe. Yeah, in here you'll see them just sit on the wall, so you have to kind of. I use a cross, I use a bone arrow to kind of like shoot them from afar. 
I definitely recommend using a bow. Bows are just so handy in this game because you can, again, the luring of enemies out. You can lure enemies out um, from afar. Like if a group of enemies, you can pick one off, and then he'll come out, and then you can take them off, take him out, and then the next one, and then bit by bit. And that's 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 a really great strategy for these sub. These guys are sort of tricky. I don't have them there, but I was going to say they're sort of tricky to parry and put out because it's just, they have the spear. There's a little note at the start of the level saying um, they're sort of weak or in this area, sort of weak to um, piercing attacks or magic attacks because my axe isn't probably <laughs> unsuitable. But, you know, see, I'm not doing amazing damage here, but. But this is, this is a game where, like, you know, one enemy at a time, like, two enemies can easily overwhelm you and take out that guy, so I have one left, so... Maybe enough. Ooh, that was, that was kind of cool. Maybe enough to take them out. And they have shards. Yeah, this area is fantastic for getting, like, Upgrade materials, obviously to mine, so it's just fantastic. It just brings you through, and it just gets so many um, upgrade uh, materials. There, I have the crushing battle axe, but I'm sticking with the regular battle axe. And I got a pickaxe as well. But I'll leave them back to the stockpile tops when I can. When I can. Got a lot of shards from those enemies, so that's 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 great. Again, it's just fantastic. Just so much, you so much upgrade materials. But here's it. Here's you can see the outside. I just love the coloring. And um, you'll see if I look off in the dis the distance there. The sky has that sort of um, uh, just sort of like a desert area. So it reminds me of like I went to see Dune this year. It reminds me of the lightning Dune, like desert, very sandy area, but. Down here is good. You can you can start this this uh, this lift here. And there's items as well, so 
boat works on the ground here. And there's a, there's a merchant as well, he's like a filthy old man, or so. that's, that's what he's called, like, filthy old man, you see him. But you can buy, um, upgrade materials off him along, along with other stuff, and there is, as you see here, down here, you have a, um, blacksmith. He's very useful, he's, um, is he related to the blacksmith in the Nexus? I th he might be. I think he is, but um... I haven't seen you around these parts. Ah, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith. Show me your steel. If not, head straight for the door. Here you have the different upgrade paths that you can do. Um, Dragon uh, applies fire to it, and I think quality uh, adds um, a better um, a better rating, like an A C A B C, to your dexterity. Yeah, I just upgraded the battle axe and it's five, but. Um, sort of thinking, um, will I go ahead with the upgrade or will I just save my materials, maybe, maybe I'll pick up a better weapon or I like another weapon, but it's always a good idea just to upgrade, upgrade when you can. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit-chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it and alters its character. Ores of transmogrified spirits. Their presence blesses the weapon. If all done, then be gone. I work alone. Blacksmith Ed there, I sort of think that like, you know, because it's the blacksmith in the, in the Nexus, but maybe blacksmith Ed can do different different upgrade paths or something like that. There must be a reason for him to be there. That um, a reason to go back to visit him because because um, the blacksmith in the Nexus is just so useful to get to. But I guess he is as well now that this lift lift is open. Thanks very much for watching. If you like these videos, definitely consider dropping me a like and you know, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, next video, I'll, I'll progress a bit further.
into these mines. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. See you then. Bye.